Hello and welcome to today's lesson from the world's leading experts in confinement, that is our prison residents. And today I reflect on the fact that over the past weekend, a very vast number of people on this planet celebrated Easter or Passover. Now these are celebrations that are typically spent together with family members coming together around meals and in churches and synagogues. And of course, for the most of us, that didn't happen over the past weekend. Now this past weekend was also the date that a friend had selected for her wedding. That also didn't happen this weekend. And as we encounter all of these big life events in our life, from weddings to funerals to you know, birthdays to holidays, well, I'm reminded of a story that happened a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago, my second mother, Fru, passed away. And for a number of different reasons, I wasn't able to make it to France for her funeral. But my dad happened to be in France on a business trip, and so he shifted his obligations around to be able to be there. And the night before Flo's funeral, I am home alone, and I just reflecting, being in my sorrow, and also reflecting on the gift that flu has been in my life. And suddenly, I remember an experience from the year before. I remember one of our prison residents on our team coming in to our Tuesday meeting, and even though he had experienced his aunt's funeral the previous weekend, he was light and joyful. And he told us that, he told us a story that he, um, for the first time, had been able to participate in his aunt's funeral, his favorite aunt, because he had actually been on the phone with his relatives who were at the funeral. And through the phone from behind prison bars, he was able to share why this aunt, aunt meant so much to him. He was able to hear other relatives share themselves and participate in the funeral from behind prison walls. And I'll tell you, he was light and joyful and exuberant afterwards. We could see that it had been a powerful experience for him. And so I thought, if he could do that from, be from behind prison walls, well, maybe I could do that when I'm not behind prison walls. And so I waited for France to wake up, and in the middle of the night, I called my dad, and I said, hey, Papa, do you think we could do this? Do you think I could participate or attend the funeral by phone? And he was willing to try. So around 1.45 in the morning, I'm woken up by my dad's phone call. And he whispers, Mariette, can you hear me? And I said, yes. He's like, I'm in the chapel. And so he put his phone on speakerphone. He put me on mute. And I participated in Flo's entire funeral. I was able to be there around the casket. I was able to sing all the songs with all of my heart. I was able to hear all the shares and participate in all the ritual. As far as I was concerned, I felt like I was there. After the funeral celebration, we participated in a procession that brought the casket from the church to the cemetery right next door. And then when it was our turn, my dad grabbed a bunch of rose petals and threw them in the casket for him. And then he grabbed another bunch. And he's like, Maya, these are for you. And he threw them in. I might not have been able to be there physically. I might not have been able to have touched those rose petals and thrown them on the casket. But I'll tell you, from my perspective, I was completely there. I was able to celebrate Flo with every other person there. And what could have been a sadder memory by the circumstances of not being able to go to France turned into one of my most precious funeral memories. Actually, one of my most precious memories. And so as you 
go and experience life's major events in this season. Have it be weddings or funerals. Have it be milestone birthdays or upcoming graduations. Have it be any holiday. I invite you to allow this story of a prison resident and my own to be an inspiration for you, to see how are you gonna craft an experience that is truly memorable for you. That in these circumstances that can create so much hardship and so much pain and, and so much sorrow, actually this moment creates pure joy and an amazing memory that honestly, without these circumstances could have never existed. That's my wish for you as you go through whatever life events are happening in your life. With that, I wish you an absolutely brilliant day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.